Well, hello there. So, it's me, Harsh, Mr. Controversy. And boy, is this one going to be controversial. But let's get straight into the meat and potatoes. So look, the hot topic at the moment in the Idaho 4, Brian Koberger situation, is of course what we touched on in the last video, which was surrounding the attorney and this conflict of interest where this attorney was, you know, representing both Zana Canodal's mum and indeed Brian Koberger, the person who's been arrested as the potential perpetrator in the Idaho 4 murders. And look, part of all of this that's coming out is Zana's mum. She's done an interview and she's been seen looking like the poster child for abused horses. And look, this ain't a hate track, but I'm just putting this out there. Look, what I'm firstly going to say is, look, I wouldn't wish what's happened to a... How do I put this? I wouldn't wish this on any mum out there. What has happened with regards to the loss of a child and in such tragic and horrific circumstance, I wouldn't wish that upon a mum. But the question is, does Cara Northington slash Canodal represent the mum in this situation? Let's not forget that Cara made her decision. She went down the route of drugs, and not just taking drugs. She was a trafficker. She was arrested for drug trafficking. So that is not only to damage herself, which is tragic, which is tragic. And I understand that this kind of situation is virulent in many countries and it's a it's a heartbreaking thing to see because people get stuck in this web and they just can't escape it but there's a difference between themselves being stuck within it but then being involved in the how can we say without getting shot down in flames, being involved in the presenting it to others to get hooked into the same web. You know, that's when things change. That's when the sympathy kind of goes out of the window. And for me, I hold no sympathy for Cara Northington in that sense because I think to myself, what part of her existence was the mum element in Zanna's life? What contribution did she have? So if I, and look, there may be many things that she did. I'm just saying from what I can see, from the proof that is out in the open for us to look over and read into, she wasn't an influence of any form of positivity. She wasn't part of Zanna's world. You know, Zanna had sort of come away from that and was and was building her own life away from that toxic environment. So does it now give Kara the right to go down the route of using this tragedy to acquire some form of people feeling sorry for her in order to perhaps leverage what could happen to her in the cases that are surrounding her? You know, the fact that she is now back as Cara Canodal instead of Cara Norvington, which I believe was the name that she was under when she was arrested. That was certainly the um, the name that was on the documentation surrounding her arrests. And look, like I say, this ain't a hate track per se. This is about understanding that everybody can make their own decision. Everybody has the ability to know what is right and what is wrong. We can't have it the best of both worlds. We, we can't say that Brian Koberger, if he indeed did this, that he had a choice. He had a choice to do right. He had a choice to do wrong. He chose to do wrong, so he should be punished with the absolute worst, but then turn around and give another person a different form of acceptance and... An understanding. I know that the, the crimes are very different, but they both hurt people. They both destroy lives. So, you know, 
it's a it's a difficult one. But for me, in this situation, all I see is a guy who's been arrested for a crime that he may or may not have committed. And we have a mum who has come forward saying that she is upset because her legal representation have chosen to back this person rather than back her. And she's heartbroken because of it. But again, I put out there, does Kara deserve any understanding surrounding her crimes? You know, that's that's the question. And and that's the, the one that's going to get me strung up down in the comments. But look, I have to say, as I feel, as I as I see it, as I it is what it is. It is what it is. You know, Xana left people behind who are who are devastated in all this. But I have to ask, looking at Kara and the you know, she looks physically devastated by you know, perhaps there's a mixture of what has happened to her daughter and maybe there is some something there that is now making her look at what should have been, what could have been, and but she looks like she really, really needs help. And um, I just wonder whether that is complete and utter genuine or if... Are we seeing something else? Are we seeing someone trying to, like I said, leverage this tragedy to perhaps dig themselves out of a hole that they were well and truly digging themselves into before this tragedy happened? Perhaps part of Zana's legacy can be to fix her mum. Perhaps that this is the shock and the tragedy that Kara needed to see, needed to hear, needed to be part of. And perhaps this, like I say, will go towards fixing her. I hope it does. I hope Kara gets the help that she needs. I hope that she now understands that life is far too short to make consistent, poor choices. And, you know, I've learned this, and I'm sure a lot of you have as well. Life, we're not here for a long time. We're here for a short time time and life can disappear just like that